Hey everyone, Jessica here, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to load up and start using your color swatches that come with the iridescent kit. And what's really cool is that I have 35 um, synchronized color palettes. So for every color palette I've got a, an impressionist brush palette, a wet brush palette, I have got a gradient, and then I've got solid color palettes that I made for each one. And you can get a little preview of that here on the right. Um, I've got the newest version of Photoshop, so they're in folders, but you can see I've got color palette one, I've got five different colors, color palette two, three, four, and these are the colors that I use to actually make the gradients as well. So in case you want everything to coordinate, like if you like using gradient number two, you know, three, well then here in color palette three, you're going to have the same colors here, so you can use them in your designs. And just makes it just all about making your workflow super fast and fun so that you can focus on the designs and you don't have to go hunt up colors. Everything here is done for you. And in case you're not familiar with using the swatches, you know, you can just select an object and then click on the swatch and fill it, you know, with um, the color. So it's just really super easy to use. And if you don't see your swatch panel here, go to Windows and then go to Swatches and it'll pop up your swatch panel. Um, I'm going to go here to the folder. In the file folder, you're going to have a file called Swatches. There's one that's called Iridescent ACO, and if you double click that, um, it's going to load up. You're going to have a file folder here. This one, just load up if you have the latest version of Photoshop. So you'll double click this folder, Iridescent, and you're going to see all the different palettes here in different folders, so it's super organized for you palette one, palette two, palette three, and so forth. And if it doesn't automatically load, just go to the top right corner, click um, import swatches, and then navigate to that file and load it up. So that's how you load up the swatches. And if you have an older version of Photoshop, you can go here to swatches separate. Now these swatches are actually ASC files, so they're an exchange file, which means you can use the um, color swatches in any program. So if you double click it and it doesn't automatically load up in the Photoshop, just go to do the same thing here. Go to swatches, go to uh, import swatches, and then you can um, load them up one by one or drag and drop them onto the Photoshop dock icon. But that way you have um, all of them as a separate folder because or a separate file because if I put them all together, you're not going to really... Um, it's not going to be so useful to you. You won't be able to see which one is with which um, color palette. So um, just load them up through the right here on the top right, import swatches, and then you're good to go. So if you have any questions about the swatches, just um, put them down in the comments below. And the good thing is, is yeah, it's the ASE file. So if you wanted to, you could even load these up into like Illustrator or another um any other Adobe program. So um, have fun with those and stay tuned for more tutorials.